Hey everyone, it's Desiree. Um, I wanted to do a video, um, just because this is probably going to be the last one I'm going to be doing in my current apartment because I'm moving on Saturday, so everything's kind of a mess right now. And before I finish putting away everything, I wanted to show you guys the clothes I got for my dolls. Um, as you guys know, I recently adopted two Reborns. Right up here is Jessie Bell. She's a toddler. She wears 12 month size clothes and she is the Tegan Sculpt by Ping Lao. And she's easily one of my favorite dolls. The very first time I saw her online, I was totally in love with her. <laughs> and she's just so precious to me. And then there's this cutie pie who I named Riley. And he has a newborn size. And he is um, the new new sculpt by Romy, or Rami, I'm not sure how to pronounce their name, and Chantilly usually sits with him, I don't know why, so, they're friends, <laughs> don't bite the baby, it's not nice, <laughs> but, um, aside from her biting him, she's usually pretty good with him, <laughs> anyway, um, so we went to Kmart two days ago, and of course my niece helped me out with picking out clothes, and I wanted to show you guys what it was that I picked out for my dolls. So, please don't mess up my videos, Chantilly. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I want to show you guys is this is a 12-month set. These are supposed to be pajamas. They have little owls all over them and leaves, and they're just really cute. But this doesn't look like a pajama set to me, like this particular outfit. So I'm going to make this like an everyday outfit for Jessie Bell, and these will be her sleepy time clothes. And they're just really cute, and Kmart has been having a really good sale. Normally these are 20 and I got them for like, I think 9 bucks, which is great. So that's the first thing. And then these cute little shorts with two cans all over it. My niece picked these out, and actually they have a top. And I don't know where the top is, of course. <laughs> Come on, are you serious? Ah, here we go. It has a camera on the front, and it's super adorable. And I love this outfit, and this is going to be really, really adorable for summertime pictures. So that was, um, these are also 12 month size. Her feet are bigger than a size 2. Size 2 shoes were sent home with her, and immediately I knew that they didn't fit with or without socks so I may have to get her a size 3 and it's really hard to buy baby shoes at um, Kmart right now I'm not sure why but that's the reality of it so then I got her this onesie and this is probably one of my favorite pieces that I bought her it says rainbow chaser and you know rainbows pegasus all that stands for dreams and magic so to me this is really important it's um it's a cute message for children it's also a long sleeve, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's by Little Wonders, 9 to 12 months, and she's going to look really, really cute in that. Um, I might leave this out because I might put her in that today. Then we have a little dress with mermaid cats on it. <laughs> it's just so weird, and I like the color a lot because, you know, I kind of have a thing with like blues and aquas and mints and everything, so... I thought that this was like really fantastic and bizarre <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't understand, <laughs> but it's so great that I couldn't pass it up and it was really inexpensive. Normally it's only $7.99 and I think I got it for like $3.99 or $4.99, it was really inexpensive and I was happy with that. This dress I like a lot too. This is a little yellow sundress with white hearts all over it. They look like polka dots, but if you look closely, they are hearts. Tell me that's not adorable. <laughs> and they have scalloped sleeves. Um, if you want to call it a sleeve, it's so short. Hey, stop messing with her clothes. Stop. Nope. Gentilly is like a jerk today, so. Um, so I kind of, I like that one a lot too, but again, I need shoes for them. And then this dress is awesome. My niece picked this out. It's the same style dress with the scalloped sleeves and the flowing skirt. And this is really cute because it's like so, so different from like the normal, like stuff when we were little girls didn't look as awesome as this. So there's dinosaurs on it. There are um, little quote bubbles that say, I love me, which is an important message. 
um, butterflies, flowers, stars, like shooting stars. I think this is the sun. Sweet. I love this. I just, I love it. And this is another outfit I think sends a positive message to kids. And that's important. Like, the sooner you teach them self-love, the better, because it'll help them later on in life. And then this was a little tutu attached outfit. <laughs> it says, I love unicorns. And it's so adorable. And it looks big, because I'm used to buying newborn size, because all of my dolls, besides Jessie Bell, fit newborn clothes. But she actually fits one-year-old sizing. So it's kind of, like, crazy to get used to, but I love it. So there's that. And um, also the dress that she's wearing. Oh, I got this the other day. It has little flamingos on the underskirt. Can you guys see that? Isn't that sweet? And then the tulle overskirt with the glitter in it. The body portion of the dress is purple and it has a little... There you go. A palm tree. And I bought her these socks. They're um, the socks with grippers on the bottom. And they have little kitty cats on the front. <laughs> and um, there was a pack of them. So I gave a couple to my niece. And um, for her dolls. And the rest are for me. There's ones with pandas on them. Which I like a lot. Because pandas are some of my favorite animals. Then there's the ones with the bunnies. Super, super cute. And they all have grippers on the bottom for like no slip grip <laughs> and these are adorable these have frogs so stinking cute and I'm like totally in love with these socks and I would wear them myself quite frankly and then we got some outfits for Riley I have a lot of newborn clothes um so it wasn't like as pressing to get it for him as it was for her because she had nothing to wear besides what she came home in so I got him these little pants and they come with a top that's kind of nautical themed. Where is it? Here we go. Captain Cutie. Eee! Isn't that adorable? I love this eagle. He is so cute. You see that? It is so, so, so adorable. I'm like totally in love with this. And then he has a little outfit here. They are blue footsie pants. So the um, feet are attached to the pants. And it came with a onesie that says new, and there's a baby whale on it, and I'm really enjoying these nautical themes that they have for little boys right now. Um, I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. And it also came with a newborn cap, with a little knot on the top. It's like a little sailor hat, it's so cute. <laughs> you know how like, they depict sailors from like, the 1600s and they have those little beanies on? It kind of reminds me of that. And then I got him this onesie that says, Mama's baby bear. Arr, so cute. I love it. <laughs> and um, I also bought him, these are some of my favorite pajamas. They have little whales on them. They are adorable. Like the feet are whale heads with the fins and everything, like the tail tip. And all around it, it's like lighthouses and whales spraying from their they're blowholes. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I thought it was hilariously cute. So I got him that. And he's also wearing one of his new pairs of pajamas. Um, they're still in the winter coats because I had taken them out, but I'm going to take them out. Take this off. And, oh, I forgot to take the tag off this outfit. <laughs> These pajamas were supposed to be 10, but again, everything was so inexpensive that it's just like... I got it for cheap. So this is similar to the um, the whale outfit, except this one is seagull themed. It is so cute, and like his feet have little seagulls on the ends, <laughs> like the seagull beaks. And the shirt says "Surf the Sea." It is so cute, and it fits him perfectly. Like he really was sized to be a newborn. So what I think I'm going to do is, um, I should change them, because they've been wearing the same clothes for a couple of days. So this is also going to count as a first outfit change, um, video, so that's kind of cool. Let's see. I think I'm going to put him in his Captain Cutie outfit. 
So yeah. Anyway, um, big deal. We are moving to a new place, and it is much bigger. It's a two bedroom instead of a one bedroom apartment. So, and also like the sizing, even with the extra room, it's just like a bigger place. Because the apartment we're living in is cute, but it's like way tiny. And it didn't look that way until we brought all of our stuff in. And we've been here for two years. And it was just time to go. Like, we were always snapping at each other because we were always under each other's feet. And it was just becoming an issue, you know, about space and having room for stuff. And I have a really massive collection of dolls, as you guys know. And they were just kind of like everywhere. So, you know, I needed room for that. We needed room to have people stay over because often I'll have my niece and there wasn't anywhere for her to sleep except on the sofa and it was just like, it was becoming crazy. You know, there was no room to put down the air mattress. It was just too much. So we found a new place. It's not even that far from where we're at now. It's like maybe five, six miles. So it's not that bad. And I'm looking forward to that. We go on Saturday. Whoops. Come on, Riley. <laughs> Sorry guys, his ear got caught in his shirt somehow. <laughs> um, so we're going on Saturday, and that's exciting, but it's nerve-wracking. And even though this place was small, you know, I, I grew to call it home. There's an affection here that I have for it. And, you know, it's, it's hard to, to say goodbye to things that you've grown to love. And I love the neighborhood that I live in currently, but you know, it's just, <laughs> there's not much around here. So it's hard to go food shopping and stuff. And we're actually in New York City, but you wouldn't believe it because the neighborhood I live in, in the Bronx, it's so quiet that you would think that we were out in like upstate New York at some kind of boonie place. Like, <laughs> no offense to people who don't live in the city. I, I actually envy you. I wish I lived in a place like that. But, you know, we didn't have a car for a long time, so that was an issue. It was just, there were a lot of things that needed to change. So that's what Andrew and I set about to, to do. So it's been really good other than that. We found this place almost a month ago. There's this thing that's called the Penny Pincher. And basically, it, it's like people will post um, articles about deals that they have for apartments or for things that they're selling, job offers, supermarket and other store coupons and stuff. And it's just like, you know, we found this apartment there. And um, that was really cool. <laughs> so it all kind of seems to fall into place really fast. Like, I guess we were just supposed to be there. And it's really close to my aunt's house, and I'm very close with her, like, emotionally. And, um, it's close to my friends, and it's easy for Andrew to get to work and to visit his friends, so... It seems like that's where we're supposed to be. Look how cute Riley looks, guys. Oh my freaking god. Let me see if I can turn on the, um... The... what's it called? The flash. Okay. Right. So this is what he looks like in his new outfit. <laughs> and it's really cute. And even though the hat goes with the other outfit, I might put that on him just because it's hilariously adorable. Let's see how he looks with the baby hat. Ooh, who's my handsome little man? So my niece really took to Riley. Like, she first met Jesse Bell and Riley the other day and she fell in love with him. And she kept like holding him and picking him up and stuff. And <laughs> Look how precious this little guy looks. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love him. I absolutely love this baby. He is so beautiful. And he's so easy to cuddle. Like, I just constantly love to hold him and cuddle him. <sighs> he's just a killer. And people on Reddit really seem to like him. <laughs> he seems pretty popular right now. And um, in a way, I feel bad for Jessie Bell because she got overlooked a little bit when it came to people reacting to my my reborns. People seem to like him more, maybe because he's so small. But yeah, he is a beautiful doll. And if you guys don't know, this sculpt actually smiles. I like reborns with open eyes, and if I can find one that's like smiling or has like a happy face, 
That's the kind that I'll usually go for. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> so he's a cutie. He has a magnet in his head to hold his pacifier. Um, Jesse Bell's pacifiers have to be put on with putty, or if I cut the ends of the nipple off, otherwise it won't fit. <clears throat> so that's Riley's outfit. Um, I'm trying to think. I should put these with something else. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll work. It's not too busy. Um, yes. So now it's time to do Jessie Bell's outfit. And she is such a pretty girl. I pierced her ears about two weeks ago. You just basically take a regular earring. You know, it's sharp at the end. Use a post if you can. I mean, the hoop ones are okay, but I like um, posts, even for myself. And her hole is permanent now, so just push it right in. It might resist a little bit when you first do it if you decide to pierce your reborns or any doll's ear, but as long as um, the earring isn't like too big and cumbersome, it should usually hold in really tightly, so that's always good. Um, I gave her aqua marine. One, because I like blue, and two, because she was born in January, and that's um, Aquarius. I don't know what January's birthstone is, but <laughs> I gave her that anyway because Aqua is in the name. So, here is her beautiful outfit, and she looks adorable, but it's time for a little change. My pretty Jessie Belle, how I love her so. <laughs> and she fits on... Uh, one year old size is pretty good. You know, I haven't had any complaints about it. Um, again, though, with the shoes, she's kind of got chunky feet, so it's a little hard to get her correct shoes. And I don't want to order them online because then if it's the wrong size, what the hell am I going to do with it? It'll cost more money to send them back than to keep them, but, you know, I don't know if I would sell them online or donate them or something. It just seems like a waste. So, I may have to wait and um, take her to like Carter's or, you know, some kind of baby store, kid's place or whatever. I don't even know if that exists anymore, children's place. Like, <laughs> I don't ever, um, buy clothes from those stores, but I do need shoes and Kmart wouldn't have any shoes for them. I think the one, the Kmart by me is going out of business. I don't know if that's the case for everywhere. But like they haven't gotten anything new in over a year and I thought it was because of COVID but that's like sort of not as um I don't want to say it's bad because that sounds obnoxious it just doesn't seem like it's the same as it was a year ago when this virus first hit you know people seem to have uh deliveries sent to their stores for different things and you know I'm not trying to you know, complain, woe is me, I can't get baby clothes for my dolls during a crisis. Like, it's not that. I'm just saying I'm surprised that they don't have um, deliveries, but other people who I've seen online can get, you know, clothes and toys for their dolls, or even for themselves, and it's no problem. But the came by me, they haven't gotten anything in a really long time. And all summer in 2020, they had nothing but a you know, like winter clothes during the summer. And now that it's winter again, they haven't gotten anything new. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on with that, but that is a fact. They haven't gotten anything new. And at least I found some really cute outfits though for these munchkins. And in terms of work, for myself, I'm still looking for a job. My office shut down because of this virus. So I have had to collect unemployment for almost a year and it's hard finding work right now because everyone's looking for work and then if this gets worse or a different strain of this virus comes out everyone's going to be back on unemployment because no one's going to be able to come in so it's been a crazy uh it's been a crazy year <laughs> um i've been blessed though i don't know anyone who got sick i myself had some kind of nasty bug in april last year but I'm not saying it was the virus because it wasn't diagnosed as that, the doctors didn't know what it was. Which is crazy, but they didn't know. So, but other than that, I've been 
healthy, you know, all this year, and no one I know has had uh, the virus. Oh, well, actually one person, I'm wrong. My boyfriend's friend had it, but it turned out that it was just like, it wasn't as bad of a case as other people got. So he didn't have to be hospitalized, thank God. Um, he's doing okay now, it seems. So, you know, I guess it could be worse. I forgot all about that, now I feel bad. <laughs> it's not that it wasn't important, it's just that it was such a, his case could have been so much worse and it wasn't. So I guess that's why I forgot, so, sorry. <laughs> um, so this has been a strange year for everybody, I think. And people are frustrated, you know, with the choice of government that we have, or they're frustrated with the virus, they're frustrated with people who won't cooperate in terms of mask wearing and stuff, and I, I just, like, I just want to live my life as peaceful as I possibly can, and I'm tired of how, you know, there's always something dramatic and sad going on in the news, so... This doll hobby has kept me sane. It really has. Especially because my collection grew over the past year. Because I had nothing else to do all day. So I played with dolls. I ordered dolls. Whatever. Um, and it's like it just it, it just feels like to me this hobby has really kept me together. And I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful that nobody I know is sick or thank God no one died. <laughs> So, I don't know. This is just kind of like a little ramble while I get my munchkins dressed. But here she is, my beautiful Jessie Bell. She is the Tegan Sculpt by Ping Lao. I think I may have mentioned that, but just in case, there you go. So, thanks for watching their first outfit change and for joining me on my doll journey. And I hope everyone's having a good day. And yes, so I will upload this and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.